Once upon a time, a young woman with a lot of big dreams met a young public television station with a lot of big dreams. Why, hi, how do you do? Why, hi, I'm Josie. Why, hi, how do you do? The young woman was Josie Carey. The young public television station was WQED. And the result of this happy union was The Children's Corner, one of the very first programs on our air. Who are you? I'm Ticker, the Magic Elf. Oh, hello. How How are you? you You'd be surprised how many letters I've gotten over the years from people who said they became what they are because of Children's Corner. One man is a French professor because he liked listening to Grandpère. Some people went into mm. music. Uh, many, many became teachers. How often do you get to see a horse-drawn hay wagon? Very rare. So if you believe in that, you don't get many wishes. No, I guess not. Each person was doing a million there things. There were two of us doing it all, actually, Fred and I. That's Fred, as in Fred Rogers. Josie struck up a conversation with Fred when she arrived at WQED and says the two of them just clicked. Josie says some of her favorite parts of the Children's Corner were the skits she and Fred improvised. Uh, please, Josie, please. This, uh, this bothers me. Thank you. You don't like the music? No, no, no thank you very much. We talked. He would try to make me laugh. One time, King Friday came up with a dictionary, and he said, All right, Josephine, if you are really royal, you will tell me, and he set the dictionary down, which was hard for him to do because yeah. he was a puppet, you know. <laughs> you, will, you will tell me what word I am thinking of this minute. Farewell, Josephine. Farewell, Josephine. Farewell, King Friday. Josie loved the freedom she had creating educational content for the Children's Corner. From cooking to Morse code to music and French, Josie, along with Fred's band of puppets, virtually invented the template for high-quality children's programming. I'm very busy. Of course I'm very busy, Josie You make your point sufficiently clear. They also catered to kids' sweet and silly sides with features like The Attic, a twice-weekly soap opera where furniture talked and lampposts married light fixtures. Our attic left something, but I thought that they were saying. This was the first time Fred used some of his inspirational talent. He mm -hmm. was the minister, mm -hmm. and he married Lawrence Light and Lydia Lamp. So it was a big day. We made the papers, and we, oh, the children came, and we served cucumber sandwiches, you know. <laughs> it was, we just could do almost anything we wanted. It was a wonderful show. It was an hour a day, and I think the children felt that if they didn't like what they were seeing, wait five minutes and you'll see something else. Joan, what do you wish on? Oh, my favorite. To wish on is a star. For a woman who admits that she always wanted to be Judy Garland growing up, Josie Carey simply loved the joy of performing on Children's Corner. Some of Josie's magic was described by Fred Rogers in this interview taped more than a decade ago, back in 1993. Josie would look into those puppets' eyes, believe that they were real, and just talk with them from her heart. I think it was the whimsy that there are certain things that, that you learn in collaboration with somebody else that you learn can be really fun. I mean, the, we must have been like two kids playing in the studio. That's Daniel. You know Daniel, don't you, Daniel? Striped the tiger. He lives in a clock. Uh-huh. An ex lives in a tree. And it Daniel. sounded like you two had a lot of fun. Did you know you were on the brink of something really, really important? Yes, we did. Did you? We had a feeling that we were, we used to think we were going to the network, and we used to sing a little song in the office, uh, ABC, CBS, NBC, and Dumont. We were calling to the, <laughs> the networks. National Educational Television presents The Children's Corner with Josie Carey, produced in by... In fact, w the network did call. NBC aired 26 Saturday morning episodes of The Children's Corner. It was uh, probably the best use of television 
the way mm -hmm. television we thought was supposed to be. Everything was good, wholesome, fun, and what we did was open windows, you know, like the song from Mame. Mm -hmm. We introduced the child to what could be. After the children's corner, Josie moved to South Carolina to work on a children's program called We. It was in South Carolina that she met another hometown boy, Pittsburgh's History Series producer Rick Seaback. Rick was just starting his career at the time, and he asked Josie to hire him as an intern. She's such a master of live television. And she doesn't want you to tell things in advance because she wants her reaction on camera to be real. And I love that. What do you know about Josie that you want everyone else to know? She's still as wonderful and fun as she always was. I don't, I don't know, if, you know when the last time she wrote a song was, but I'm sure she's still writing songs because uh, all of that is just part of her. It's ingrained in her. Are you ever approached on the street? Yes, yesterday. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Once a week, somebody will come up to me. I get very nice comments. I've been very blessed because I may not have done much nationally, but locally, um, I have had very good response over the years. When you consider I haven't been on the air for 35 years and people still remember me, it makes me want to cry. How do you do? Why, hi, I'm, I'm Josie. Josie. Why, hi, how do you do? Actually, Josie Carey was on WQED again, back on October 12, 1993, when former mayor Sophie Masloff made a very special proclamation. And today, it is my pleasure to salute her for her outstanding contributions to public television and to our community by proclaiming this day as Josie Carey Day in the city of Pittsburgh. And so thanks, Josie. And as part of that special celebration, WQED reunited Josie with a very special friend and the magical puppeteer behind him. Oh, Josie. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Good How to see are you? you. I'm fine. You haven't changed a bit. Well, uh, there's just one thing. I I have a new stripe, Do and you? I want it's so itchy. Oh, I wonder if I you. Oh, could I scratch it? Oh, there. thank oh, you. Oh yes. Oh, that feels so much better. I want better. to do something for you too. Do you have a new stripe? No, I don't have a new stripe. I really uh, admire her, so. I think her love of uh, of acting and, and talking with puppets. So being herself. I like you, I L I K E Y O U. I like you, yes I do. I like you, why?